So we came to uh, fourth unit. Uh, the title of the fourth unit is Algorithm Design Technique. As I told in earlier, before starting of the class, uh, the subject is uh, data structures and algorithms. Uh, data structure is a separate subject and algorithm design and analysis is a different subject. And uh, both the subject has been combined and uh, a word advanced is put in prior to the word data structures and algorithms uh, in order to ensure that this is going to be a PG uh, subject. That's the uh, motive behind that. So the first, uh, that means second and third unit are the one that deals with the data structures. Uh, I, I, I guess that almost all the data structures discussed here are primitive one only, not a new thing. Whatever the thing that you have studied in the UG, the same thing is repeated here. But the standard of uh, understanding the concept should be of PG level. So the, you have to uh, improvise yourself uh, in other uh, corners of the topic, uh, not simply uh, the definition about the pro topic, uh, application about the topic and uh, solving a problem about the topic uh, simply uh, proceeding with that you have to go beyond so that's why in the unit one they have given you a uh, role of algorithms in computing that means uh, whatever say for example in second unit say for example you are going to study uh, b tree means uh, you need to do study the definition and its operation followed by you need to study the algorithm of b tree that is important that is that's why the first unit they have given the algorithm uh, so uh, even though the algorithm b tree the title is not given in unit two uh, specifically, uh, but uh, it is uh, understood that you have to include the topic uh, algorithm uh, B3. Uh, from that algorithm, what do you have to do? You have to include the insertion operation, deletion operation, deletion operation, majority, majority. Insertion. So after that, you need to discuss about uh, uh, in what way the complexity of the uh, B3 operations with respect to insertion, with respect to deletion will work, will be uh, free, will be uh, designed or will be derived. Like that stuff you have to discuss. Uh, fortunately, you don't have uh, a theoretical type of uh, examination pattern. You have a, what can I say, MCQ type of uh, question pattern. So you don't need to study many things. Just you need to understand and read many things. So don't study and muck up many things. Just to read and understand many things. Then only you can uh, cope up with the MCQ type of uh, questions. So that's the uh, simple uh, suggestion I wish to say to you. Mm. Uh, what else? There's... Uh, then, um, so second and third unit are data structure. First unit is the basic and fundamentals of dealing with the algorithms as well as the problem design. Uh, fourth unit, that is what we are going to we are going to discuss today, is completely of um, what is that uh, design techniques. There are many design techniques are available. If you go to the syllabus of uh, uh, UG uh, candidate, uh, UG students under. Uh, um, uh, Analysis T regulation 2017. If you could see that syllabus, so you can find many uh, things brute force, dividend conquer, dynamic programming, and greedy technique. So, iterative improvement, and then algorithmic complexity. Right? So, uh, in that, what the th this third unit is given as the title for our uh, PG syllabus dynamic programming and degree technique and of course if you could see the title if you could see the title uh, the title is more here but it is very less here but it is very less here you could see that uh, there are very few topics say for example they have introduced dynamic programming and the dynamic program they have two problems one is matrix multiplication another one is longest common circuit then they have introduced a greedy algorithm under greedy algorithms you have uh, two problems one is activity selection problem another one is hub and course that's it so very, 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 very simple <laughs> in compared with the UG syllabus. I don't know why this, anyhow, we, this, uh, we, are, we are lucky to have such a simple syllabus. Uh, dynamic programming. So you have principle of optimality, coin changing problem, binomial coefficient, Floyd's algorithm, multi-stage graph, optimal binary history. Now see, the problem list is going on under dynamic programming. As well as for greedy technique, container loading problem, prints, cruz calls, zero power one, knapsack. You see, the problem goes goes on. But what is the uh, thing that is in the, uh, that is, this is for UG case, this is for UG case, but what is there in the PG level, just uh, uh, two technique, under each technique, two problems, that's it. So first let me discuss about dynamic programming today, then uh, in the next class we will discuss about uh, greedy algorithms. Mm, when you come back with uh, dynamic programming, uh, what I can do is, uh, yeah, yes, so what is mean by dynamic programming? 
right so dynamic programming if by the name itself it says that it tries to solve something uh, dynamically uh, that is beyond the scope that is beyond the scope that you need not think about dynamic means uh, everything has been conducted at run time uh, you need not think about that uh, but the operation that it is uh, intended to perform in order to bring solution is uh, more dynamic in nature so what is the nature of the problem that is solved using dynamic programming so you should remember that the nature of the problem that is solved using a dynamic program is an optimization problem so here you should uh, ask a question what is meant by an optimization problem so what is meant by an optimization problem in general a problem is said to be an optimization problem if it has n number of solutions for that problem and you are asked to select only one solution for the problem see there is a problem what is what may be a problem maybe shortest route to reach this uh, destination uh, uh, like Uh, Priti? Are yes, sir. Lakshmi, are you there? Yes, sir. I think something has been interrupted in the middle so that uh, my internet yeah. connection was cut. Yeah, yeah, yes. My network uh, connection was lost. Yeah, yes. yes. Hmm. Okay, shall we start? So, have you, did you hear up to what I what I taught you uh, so far? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. So, what is the thing is um, when I say maybe I am sorry, my screen. So what I'm trying to uh, say to you is, uh, you should know what is uh, optimization. For which I asked a question to Lakshmi. Uh, Lakshmi, how, how, uh, you, uh, where are you coming from to reach this campus? Idair Palem, sir. Yeah, Idair Palem. So uh, do you think that there is only one route is possible to reach this place? No, sir. So you have many routes, right? Yes, sir. So what is your problem? Reaching the uh, campus is the problem. Right? Yes. For that problem, how many solutions you have? Start is to path. No, no. We are not. We, we, here we need not to. We, we should not say start is, or we should not say anything like that. So only the path. Path here. Only the path here. Right? So how many paths? See, uh, how to reach this campus? There are n number of paths are available. You can yes. go to this campus using any one path. Right? Yes. So, n number of paths available are available, n meaning a, n number of solutions are given meaning. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, out of the n number of solutions, you have to choose only one solution. So, that is, if that is the kind of problem, then it is going to be an optimization problem. So, then the optimization problem is defined one step further. How, it is, how further it is defined is whether you have to go for minimum or you have to go for maximum. With respect to the job, uh, with respect to the path selection, you always think about the minimum path, right? Since it is a path selection and you have to reach the destination with the shortest distance, you have to think about short, uh, minimum path. Say, for example, if you are uh, running a business and for which uh, you have many uh, alternatives are available in order to boost the business performance, then what you have to look for? You always look for maximum profit, maximum profit. So that's why uh, the optimized word will uh, incorporate minimize as well as maximize. As well as but how to implement that uh, optimization solution strategy in order to find solution to the optimization problem for which you need to uh, implement a what so called uh, yeah, function called recursive 
recursion so you might uh, know it uh, very clearly so whenever you write a program whenever you write a program you have two things in your mind one is uh, iteration that is with the help of loop another one is via recursion that is uh, repeatedly doing the same thing repeatedly doing the same thing so let me look at the same example that is in order to create a fibonacci series see uh, this is the word uh, which calls the function itself again and again fib n minus 1 plus fib n minus 2 it will call the function again and again that is the recursion but with respect to uh, dynamic programming uh, if it is a linear one the what it, what you should do is you should uh, do it like this way you should do it like this way that is with the help of iterative statement you should do it like this way so recursion is one kind of strategy uh, which has been solved to find the solution to the problem so, but the same problem can be solved using uh, in a linear way in a linear way uh, with the help of the iteration that is called uh, dynamic programming in order to do that see both can give the same answer but if you are using the dynamic programming you have to do go for this way. in order to do, do, do that you need to build two components two components what are the two components here is one component is you have to build an optimal substructure one component is optimal substructure and another component is let me give overlapping sub problems overlapping sub there is optimal substructure is um, say for example Uh, like uh, like we told uh, from Edayar Palayam to uh, our campus, there are many possible paths are available. But uh, you can give, you can choose from Edayar Palayam to Vadavelli, uh, from Vadavelli to Navavur Prive, from Navavur Prive to uh, our campus. So there are three uh, structure. Uh, so these three sub three structure means three three sub structures. So each three sub structures will lead to the final solution. Like this, he she can choose many other paths from this place to this place, this place to this place, this place. This also one road. This is also another rule. This is also another like that you can make. So you need to form a substructure. You need to form a substructure. That is the first step in solving an optimization problem by dynamic programming. So if you if you wish to solve an optimization problem by dynamic programming, the first step is to characterize the structure of an optimal solution. You have to characterize the structure of an optimal solution. Say for example, when you look at the case of this Fibonacci series, see. You look at it. Well, let me increase this. See, fib uh, f of i minus one plus uh, f of i minus two. So that is the substructure. That is the substructure. So this substructure will again and again inside the loop will uh, change its according to the index value. Index value. That is the idea here uh, based on the substructure. So you need to do that. You need to do that. And this substructure will give you a solution. This solution will also be lead to a optimal solution. So if that is the situation, that that solution is going to be called as optimal substructure. So according to your syllabus, so just now I told that what is dynamic programming, and here uh, is what uh, about uh, elements of dynamic program. So what is elements of dynamic programming? So there are two elements of dynamic programming. One is Uh, optimal substructure one is optimal substructure another one is uh, optimal uh, opt where i can where i go to see so you that uh, overlapping sub problem the problem should overlap with one another that means uh, overlapping means uh, one if you solve one problem immediately the solution to the other problems get started the, sorry the proceedings for the other problem get started so that is the another ingredient or another elements of dynamic programming right so if you are uh, going to study the theoretical part of the subject then you need to uh, remember all those stuff but uh, since being a multiple choice type of thing so you need to cleanly watch each and every stage so this what do you mean by overlapping sub problem when your recursive algorithm revises the same problem over and over we say that problem is having overlapping sub problems so whenever you have a recursive procedure and that recursive procedure will always look for see whenever you try to solve a problem using a dynamic program you should look through the program and you look through the problem whether revision recursion is possible or not if the recursion is possible whether the same thing can be done with the help of the linear mode with the help of the iterative statement or not so accordingly you have to decide the problem and other things so when a recursive algorithm revises the same problem over and over again we say that the optimization problem has overlapping sub problem so that is the idea here so so there are two elements of sub problem so whenever you try to solve a problem you need to think about whether overlapping subject uh, the, the optimal subject here is possible and overlapping sub problem so let me discuss these two things with the help of your uh, problem according to your syllabus 
according to the syllabus they have given two problems one is uh, i think matrix uh, yeah matrix chain multiplication another one is the longest common subsequence so let me to choose, choose the first one uh, matrix chain multiplication so what this matrix is mean, given a sequence of matrix the, so for example you will be provided with an uh, enormous number of matrices you know so say so for example you could see that there are four types of matrices a b c d so in order to uh, find the most efficient way to multiply these matrices together so you want to multiply these four matrices what you can do so you can have different strategies a b c should be multiplied in one go and that answer will be multiplied by d a b should be multiplied first and c d should be multiplied second and a within bracket b c d so likewise this uh, the things that has been multiplied with the most efficient way to multiply these matrices together so the problem is not actually to perform the multiplication but merely to decide in which order to perform the multiplication so we have uh, what 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 is that we have many options to multiply a chain of matrices we have so this is one way and this is see a b c this is one way there are another operation is possible a uh, should be come outside and b c should be multiplied there are, so if you are doing two things you may have you end up with different kind of operations different kind of say for example uh, let us assume that a is a 10 cross 30 matrix and b is a 30 cross 5 matrix and c is a 5 cross 60 matrix so if you multiply this uh, matrix finally you what how many number of operation you have 4500 operation for this how many operation likewise uh, what you can infer from this you have many solutions for the problem many solutions so definitely it is an optimization problem and that problem can be uh, can have two elements are not one is uh, that is you think about the principle of optimality and that is optimal substructure and overlapping sub problems if that two things are present definitely you are blindly you can start uh, giving solution to the problem as a uh, through dynamic programming say for example this is the element given uh, there are four matrices this is the dimension uh, dimension four matrices of dimension 4d cross 20 20 cross 30 uh, 30 cross 10 and 10 cross 30 so if you want to multiply these matrices then what do you have to do and what is the order that you have to put so if you put this order then it will be giving the minimum number of multiplication and for this case if you put this so this is the way you need to find anyway. but the, this is not the only order you can get the solution there are uh, many other orders are also available in order to provide the solution but what you can do is you can go for uh, thinking about the many things you can go for thinking about many things that is the idea so what is the optimal uh, substructure for this problem uh, see uh, you need to calculate the cost for everything see if i multiply a uh multiply by b c d and a b and c d a b c and d so you need to find the cost for calculating the cost of everything then you need to do the subtraction so for this problem the optimal substructure has to be uh, defined that minimum number of multiplication you need to multiply a chain of size n that is equal to minimum of all n minus 1 placements that is you need to place all the uh, subsets into one is then only you need to uh, understand that whether that uh, over uh, optimal substructure is possible or not so if you could see that if that optimal substructure is possible then you can uh, proceed with the pro problem in order to find the solution you see that we got and the next one uh, overlapping sub problems so what do you mean by overlapping sub that's now it's solved so you need to after you thought about that there are n number of solution is there out of that one solution has to be possible then you need to think about whether any recursive implementation is possible or not. so if you could see that any if any recursive implementation is possible that simply follows the, so what you got to do is uh, say say for example see this is one one case you need to think about the tree like structure so for this i got to do it there are four matrices first i have to take a one one a one a two then uh, you need a three to four three is zero so for this uh, one to one i left it uh, two to four i have make it as a two to two uh, three to four and a three two to three uh, and for three to four i have to three see likewise you need to draw a tree like structure and this tree like structure will give you the overlapping sub sequences overlapping sub sequences that is what uh, the idea is about so once you need to do all the things then you need to go for uh, implementation of the dynamic program so we are going for implementation of the dynamic program there are two uh, solution strategies available uh, tabulation method and memoization method so this uh, thing i would like to do you as a exercise or a seminar topic tabulation method anyhow i will present it for a topic for the ug problem this is the tabulation problem uh, tabulation so what is the problem is about coin changing problem for a coin changing problem you need to find the denomination for if you are uh, full amount is given in how many number of denomination you need to correct those things likewise you need to discuss about that uh, problem so you need to define a table like this and uh, you need to calculate uh, from the basic version f of 0 f of 1 and f of 2 so every time even you could see that your case is uh, possible your case is possible 
but when you go for thinking that idea but when you go for thinking that idea so what else you need to do is so you have to think about the uh, stuff that is most uh, appropriate for the one which is has to be uh, implemented so that is what the thing so there are two kinds of method one is a tabulation and a memoization method what is memoization method is it is a kind of memory method using which you can solve the problem so that problem also that is discussed here uh, with respect to the algorithm that i can share you that you can uh, clearly understand well so what is the thing is uh, here as per your syllabus they have discussed about uh, what is the dynamic programming and what are the elements of dynamic programming and you need to discuss about your problem uh, matrix multiplication as far as the gigs per gigs material is concerned they have just given the uh, idea alone so how to uh, proceed with the problem they finally they give the code but what else i expect from you is uh, you need to do a uh, tabulation method to solve a problem to solve this problem so how to do the tabulation problem you go through the way of solving the problem then you can understand that well i will share this uh, presentation to you uh, from this basic presentation then you can understand that how to solve that uh, basic question uh, in order to uh, understand this uh, idea see uh, there are six possible solution in this case coin changing problem uh, you have uh, many uh, denomination uh what do you else you got to do is uh, say for example there are uh, you have to provide with the 10 rupees with the denomination 1 rupee 2 rupee 5 5 rupee you have to make up the 10 rupee with the minimum number of denomination so what you can do you can do you can go for one 5 rupee coin two uh, 2 rupee coin and one 1 rupee coin that put together will give you a 10 rupee maximum right so in order to do that what you can do is you need to do a tabulation and in that tabulation you need to insert the element and in that element will uh, do it according to the uh, first you need to do the first basic version and then you will say so likewise the fibonacci series also so if you could see that the fibonacci series also will do the same thing uh, it will uh, do uh, see uh, f of i minus 1 that is f of 1 is equal to f of i that means uh, uh, f of minus 1 and f of minus 2 if you sum that down then you will get f of 1 like that you need to put uh, these many things in order to find that idea right so that is the thing here next problem according to the bus is Uh, longest commercial. This is also more interesting problem. Uh, let me discuss that longest commercial sequence problem. Say for example, uh, this is uh, LCS. Uh, so whenever you need to find that, you need to discuss about what is overlapping sub problem. And up uh, to if that thing is available, then you can do it uh, for that. So longest sub sequence. So this is the problem most commonly in the domain of bioinformatics. So in bioinformatics, they will be giving the uh, sequence. That sequence will be of correct. Uh, maybe. Uh, Uh, a B C A B G E A C F like that. So in that you need to find a longest sub sequence. So you need to find a sequence that seems to be longest. See, for example, this is an input sequence. Uh, this is one input sequence. This is another sequence. Another input sequence. So if you compare these two sequences, and you have to find out the commonality between the two sequences, and that should be a, a longest one. So commonality one is A at the position A. Another one is at the position. Uh, Hatch, another one is like that. Many things is available, but what you have to do is you need to think about the longest sequence. Longest sequence. So the length is three because A D H A D H. So A is matching and D is matching and H is matching. So likewise, you need to give the longest common sub sequence. So for which also you can generate the optimal structure, optimal sub structure, and you need to generate the uh, overlapping sub problems. So in the both the cases, you need to think about. When you are generating the optimal structure, you need to think about the tabulation method. So while for tabulation method, you need to put it, uh, all the uh, letters in the uh, rows side as well as in the column side, and you have to mention uh, the position in which it is coming up. So G is coming up in the fourth position, and uh, S T is coming in the third position, the third uh, times. So like that, you need to put if you go through the diagonal level, then you may see that it will have an optimal structure. Otherwise, not. Mm. so this one particular part is given to you in order to for uh, make you to understand what is the tabulation memorization method for which i will give you the template problem like uh, uh, kind changing problem or computing binomial coefficients so, so this is plays a vital role of uh, understanding the dynamic programming so to summarize what is meant by dynamic programming is by the name itself it tries to solve the problem dynamically so what is kind of problem it is you trying to solve so it is trying to solve a kind of a problem that is optimizes something that optimizes something. that is a problem of optimization so whenever you want to do an optimization first of all you should thorough the study the problem understand the problem then you have to think about whether the two components are available or not what are the two components optimal substructure and the overlapping sub problem 
if that two comments are there then you can directly proceed with that so what is that optimal substructure so you need to divide the problem into n number of junction and each junction if you get solved it then that solution will be available the solution for the next case so likewise you need to find out the optimal substructure so then what is my overlapping like problem the problem once it is solved the solution of the problem will be given to the neighboring problems so then that uh, every problem we try to solve on that sense that is overlapping in nature that uh, so if that two things are available then you can go for a and uh, implement the program either to uh, iterative procedure or through a recursive procedures so there are two problems given here one is matrix chain multiplication another one is uh, longest common sense sequence so both the problems by the by one word it's uh, we can say very easily what do you mean by matrix the chain multiplication there are n number of matrices given to you the order of the matrices will divide the number of operations if you choose one order then the operation will be uh, of one count if you choose an another order then the operation will be of a different count so based on the number of counts then you have to limit the uh, then you have to choose the one order that is one sequence uh, one uh, matrix chain one matrix chain which will give the least number of operations Likewise, for common longest common sense, you have been provided with the two sequences, and that two sequences will be matched with one another. In what position it gets start matching with one another, and how how to what level it is getting extended accordingly, you need to fix it one, and then you need to do it uh, the way which uh, you need to be the solution of the, the problem. So you need to provide the solution, and you need to discuss the solution. You need to provide the solution only by the optimal optimal solution. But you need to discuss the solution under the two headings. One is optimal structure and two overlapping sub problems. In that way, you have to divide the problem. So if you could see that many times, then also you can very well understand that. Or see how to draw the tree. See in Fibonacci series, first you have to do the f of five. If you want to calculate f of five, what do you what do you have to do? You need to calculate the f of four and f of three. If you want to do f of three, what do you need to do? F of three and f of two. If you want f of three, f of two. So this is called optimal structure. So the, the tree like structure which gives uh, the value for uh, the problem in each and every stage that plays the important cases so right i hope you understand the idea uh, let me stop the recording then we will have a discussion in the offline mode